James Cotton, the guy on the bike. Welcome you all back for another half ass production. We're gonna try to get in there. A daffod swimmer. And get some pictures of Marlena Dumas' latest show. Under construction and it's oil on canvas 70 by 118 inches. It's titled The Wall. Well, I was uh, listening to Marina talking about how she uh, selected many of these images from some movies. I think that might be one of the things that has made her kind of controversial and also a uh, kind of an example for a lot of young painters. This is great the way she captures that shoulder. Marlena is a real sweetheart too. This is actually the day after St. Patrick's Day. And New York has just gone through well, probably about a month and a half of some of the crappiest weather that we've had in years. Ooh, somebody's still got his green jacket on. So I saw Alex Katz running around here just a little bit ago. Let's see if we can find him. This is titled Mind Blocks. This is 70 by 118. And you know, it's kind of ironic that when Marlena had her retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art, Jerry Saltz, who has spilled a lot of ink uh, kvetching about the fact that uh, the Museum of Modern Art didn't have enough female representation, he was strangely silent. It's called Wall Wailing. It's also 70 by 118 inches. You know, I was uh, just talking to Joe Fife, uh, pretty well-known local painter and he was commenting on how he thought the show was pretty good and uh, I agreed with him and one of the reasons is well whether you like her or hate her you have to admit that Marlena is making paintings straight simple oil paintings. And for all the brushiness or ineptitude or pathos, funkiness, what you've got here is somebody brushing on pigment onto a piece of canvas which is actually pretty rare these days. So why can't we see this video under Marlene Dumas on YouTube? Well, this piece is titled The Mother. I think Marlene has also been paired with another European painter, Peter Doig. A 
And this is titled Man Standing. It's 78 by 39 inches. And this is one of the more colorful pieces in the show. This is titled Charity. And I think this really gives you a chance to see Marlena's delicate touch. And I think every painter is basically an alchemist at heart. This kind of gives you a chance to see how Marlena is using her pigments. But even this nice flowery still life has got a certain kind of dark echo there. Oh, there's Lisa Luskovich. This piece is titled The Sleep of Reason. And I think this is a self-portrait. This is a wonderful piece. Let's see if we can get it, some of the details of her paint handling. She can be extremely fine and delicate when she wants to be. Well, now we're in the little side gallery. This piece is titled Figure in a Landscape. And I wonder if that's the wall. It separates Jerusalem. This is a big piece. This is 70 by 180 inches. I think Marlena is one of the few artists working to, contemporarily that uh, really knows how to use gray. A few of the Germans do a pretty good job of it. The Luperts. Is more against the wall. I can really get in and see how gestural her brushwork is. She's able to capture so much with so little. Now we're going to check out the other side gallery. I took the guide list back to the receptionist desk so I don't have the titles on these pieces, but no, I would say that one looks like an olive tree maybe with a fence in the background. Oh, here's another wonderful piece. Oh, and this is great, this hand. She also does a lot of wiping and maybe rinsing with solvents. I think this one was titled Plate of Grapes. Oh, and this is another wonderful, sensitive piece. skin boots. Oh, and there's Marlena. Okay. So this is James Com reporting on Marlena Dumas's Up Against the Wall with David's Werner. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> 